Hi friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Live. We're gonna do a cheater version of a 24 hour readathon. So today is April 2nd, tomorrow April 3rd is the fourth anniversary of my late husband Sam's passing. Uh, he died of COVID and he survived almost 13 years with a traumatic brain injury or after his traumatic brain injury, uh, he was a Marine injured in Iraq. So uh, to give myself kind of like the emotional space, um, fill my day doing something like happy and something that I love. Um, this is how I've chosen to spend the day, kind of doing thing, doing something that I love, doing something that he would have absolutely loved. So the reason I'm starting today is I was gonna do it just kind of accounting for sleep. Originally, I was gonna do 5 p.m. today till 5 p.m. PM tomorrow, the third, the actual day. I'm going out to dinner with his mom. So that's why I was like, okay, if I finish by five o'clock, we can go out to dinner afterwards. Um, but also I don't have anything to do today <laughs> other than I need to do, I need to do some cleaning around the house. Um, and I have a gynecology appointment. Other than that, I would just be waiting for five o'clock. So like, well, if I start this morning, then I can kind of account for those sleeping hours and get some more reading and get actually closer to that 24 hour mark. So originally I was gonna tell you my big fat stack big fat stack of books that I have to read, but I think that would just be an unnecessarily long introduction. Just know that I have a big fat stack of books that I'm gonna be reading. I have a couple audiobooks on the go. Um, I've already started, I have a uh, one, two. I have a nonfiction book. I'm reading The Villa right now by Rachel Hawkins. Um, I have a specific book that I'm reading kind of in um, to honor Sam. So I'll just tell you what I'm reading as I go. I'm reading The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. And first of all, it's a story with two timelines. So, so we have a current day timeline where we have, there's like a band and there's two, there's stepsisters who are, um, I don't think they're actually in the band, but um, they and the band end up going to this, basically one of the sisters meets this like famous musician and he invites him to this villa in Italy. And so the their timeline is gonna be their time at Via Villa Rosato, I think it is. And we know from the current day timeline that something murderous ends up happening. In the current timeline, um, these two best friends, both are authors, one's a mystery author, the other is like a self-help, like a very, very famous, successful, um, like sitting on Oprah's couch uh, level of author. They're best friends and they, the, the rich one says, hey, let's go to, um, let's go to Italy. Um, I've rented this villa. My dog is, hello, are you okay? Anyway, so um, they know that this murder has occurred in the past. There's also a um, references to supposedly, was it the first horror book? What's it called? Hang on. Lilith Rising by Mary Godwick. So I don't, I don't remember who was the first horror book. I think it was the first horror book written by a woman. Um, and so those, uh, there's like excerpts of that that are periodically... Um, you know, interspersed. So the edition or the copy that I have is a used copy from Half Price Books. And every time the, the F word is used, it's like penciled out or like erased out or the first time um, I was like, what is that? And I realized it was pencil. I got an eraser and erased it. They had changed the F into a B. And um, it's just kind of a funny thing from a used copy. I've never seen anyone do that before. So I just got home from um, my gynecology appointment and I hadn't seen her since 2019 and she remembered about um, Sam's traumatic brain injury and I had been fine and then I, I totally lost it when I told her about Sam and the anniversary. Now it's like I, I cracked the seal and the tears just keep coming. In the meantime, I'm well into The Editor by Stephen Rowley. Really, um, yeah, liking it quite a lot. It's very, just a very easy read, very, wow, what a segue that was. It's just really easy to listen to. So this this guy, this, this guy writes um, a novel and his editor that he gets assigned is Jackie O. And so it's kind of like they're establishing this working relationship and he's kind of in awe, obviously, that Jackie O, like he's hanging out with her and she's offering him, you know, they're having a, like cocktails together and and stuff like that so it's just a really pleasant easy read and that's what I remember about Lily and the Octopus um so I'm really curious about Lily and the Octopus was a bit was very charming 
and um, a little bit whimsical, maybe is the word. And so I'm curious, and there, and there was like a, a deeper meaning behind it. And so I'm curious what that's going to be besides the surface story. And then in, um, you know, while I was waiting for the doctor's appointment, I read in, um, in the villa and I'm on page 92 now. So I read about 30 pages, I think, since I last updated. So yeah, I, you know, between, um, I like vacuumed, took a shower, got ready to go, all that, and then the drive to and from the doctor's office. And so I've read, I forgot to look, but I'm well into the editor now. And um, yeah, as I said, really enjoying it. So I'm gonna head back in the house. I do have a bit more housework to do, but I might chill for a while and read. I'll either keep reading in the villa or I might end up starting the Samurai's Garden, kind of just see what I feel like. Eight fifteen on Wednesday morning. It is the anniversary day. Doing okay. Doing fine. Doing doing well so far. I just finished the Villa by Rachel Hawkins. I really really enjoyed that book. It was. It's been a while since I feel like I've been so into a book actually. So that was a really good feeling. Like I've read really good books. Like the Heaven and Earth Grocery Store was very good. I enjoyed myself reading that. Um, you know, it's very literary, but it's, it's like, it's so refreshing sometimes to read something that is just much more plot forward and um, just like you're excited to be in it. So really good experience with the villa. Thank you, Jennifer Brooks, for recommending that, for being so high on it, because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to get some breakfast. I might go out for breakfast. There's a little place like a mile from my house. So I might take a book there. I'll probably go with the Samurai Garden. Um, I might want to start something else though. So I have the Samurai Garden. I have Heartstopper. I have those little books. But I kind of feel like I might want to start another novel. I'm not sure what that is. I need to read a little bit in the Kingdom, the Power, and the Glory as well. But I feel like I'll do that after breakfast. I just recorded this clip, but somehow I ended up in slow-mo. I think I got a text in the middle and like it just changed it. I don't know, so that was weird. But anyway, it's uh, 10 after one. It's a beautiful 70 degrees and I'm waiting for a friend to come meet me for a walk. After the walk, so we'll walk a little more than an hour and then I'm gonna go pick up my nieces and nephew from school, which is just a couple miles away, Not maybe not even a couple miles away. And so I'll hang out with them for a little bit before they get picked up and then um, dinner with my mother-in-law and probably my mom tonight. So the biggest part of the reading is done for the day. I, I will read some more at some point, but um, I got here early and so I went over to Ruby's Books and I picked up Heartstopper Volume 4. I was like, I need a little bit of retail therapy. And there wasn't anything in particular that I like wanted or needed, but um, I do have I started, I started volume three um, a little while ago and I have five, but I couldn't find four. So I finally picked up, picked up four. So uh, I read about another 30 pages in the Samurai's Garden and I'm enjoying it, but I think because it's such a character focus, just kind of like soft, slow, cozy book, I'm finding it hard to read it for just like really long periods of time. Like I could, I could read blast through 50 pages of the villa, like without even thinking about it, uh, just because it's more of a fast paced book. Also, I mean, even just the format of the book and a hardback is much more kind of li liberal with its spacing and font, as opposed to a paperback it tends to be a little bit more condensed. So that's part of it as well. But that attention span just isn't there as much for those softer, cozier books for me. And so Heartstopper was a great, um, a great kind of like palate cleanser uh, to throw in there. So that's probably what I'll be reading for the rest of the day. I might pop in The Kingdom, The Power, and The Glory for a little bit, also a little bit more of a slower going book being um, a little bit more dense nonfiction. But um, anyway, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna head over to the restroom before my friend gets here for our walk. It's one of those where like, I don't really have to go, 
but if I don't go before I walk, I'm really going to be uncomfortable and regret it, so I better get going. Um, also, I've had a few people um, check in with me today just to see how I'm doing and offer just like love and support, and um, I'm doing okay today. So, you know, maybe when I meet with people and I'm a little bit more social today, that might bring up some emotion, but I'm okay with that. The whole purpose of kind of setting this day aside has been to make me feel like, one, to honor Sam, spend a day just kind of like, yeah, honoring him, remembering him, but also just to give myself the space and kind of the permission to just feel what I'm feeling. And, you know, if I shed a tear or many, it's okay. And not that it's not okay in any other time, but there are just times when you feel like, um, you just don't want to. (laughs) So, um, I'm just like, you know, allowing myself, giving myself that space to do that if I need to do that. But so far today I've been feeling good. I am so cold. The weather went from being so nice to so cold and wet and rainy and windy, and I'm not liking it. It is Thursday, almost midday. And I just came home. Oh, there's mom. So it's almost noon and I just got back from morning of networking stuff, my networking friends, but I thought I would wrap up the, uh, the 24 hour reading vlog. So cheater 24 hour reading vlog, but I think this is the, the, the reading a readathon project that I was the most committed to and did the best of like actually using the time for reading and I got a lot done. So I'm about halfway through the Samurai's Garden enjoying this. I think I talked about yesterday that because of just like the slow, soft, rem- reminiscent of the remainder of the day nature of it. I find it hard to read it for extended periods of time. I just kind of need a little, my attention span just needs a little bit more, but I'm really, really enjoying just being in this world. Um, It's just like a soft, lovely place to be. It it reminds me of, if you watch Kate Howe, she did this, just did this series of 100 life softening books. And I would consider this a life softening book. Uh, then I read, yesterday I read volume three of Heartstopper, continuation of Nick and Charlie's um, relationship and the challenges of, of coming out as a teenager. Um, they go to France on a school trip during this and so every, for the most part everything takes place on this trip in France and they're kind of um, grappling with the idea of like, all right, I came out to my parents but we have to like continue coming out like throughout throughout the rest of my life I'm gonna have to keep coming out and so kind of dealing with that telling certain friends and um being openly out then I mostly listened to the editor on audiobook but I finished the last maybe 60 70 pages or so last night in the physical copy really enjoyed this book it was not as um like not charming and whimsical in the same way that Lily and the Octopus was, but it, it was still it just felt very comfortable to be in this in this world and like in this character's head. Um, the main character, what is his name? I can never remember characters' names. James. Um, it was really nice to be like in James's head and in his world. And of course, the, the Jackie O stuff was cool. But then we're also getting to kind of um, explore like mother and son relationships, both through like Jackie as a mother. And then, um, and then him as a son and the the book that he writes very much has to do with his mom. So yeah, it was just really nice. I, I don't feel like it had, um, as strong as a, of a theme as a lot of books that I really enjoy or as Lily and the Octopus did, but still it was a really good time and I gave it four stars. And then finally, the winner of the readathon, um, is The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. Just really enjoyed this book. I, I enjoyed both of the timelines. I I was I was um, like invested in the stakes of the characters. I was wanting to get back into this book, and for me, that's the mark kind of of a five star. Got a phone call coming in. Um, to me, that's kind of like the mark of a five star. Is am I thinking about it when I'm not reading it? Am I really invested in the characters and um, like what's going to happen to them? Their fates. And do I just like want to be in this world and finding out what what is next? And so I think this is my first five star read of the year. So I feel quite accomplished. I read three full books, including the graphic novel and a half. And uh, this is definitely like the most I've read in a short period of time in a really, really long time. Coming off the back of last month reading um, 
a 780 page book, you know, being able to like start and finish multiple books in a short period of time felt really good. I would love to know if you've read any of these books, particularly The Villa. Are you reading Heartstopper? What volume are on? Are you on? I'm happy that I have books four and five now so I can jump into those whenever I'm ready. Thank you for watching. Remember, every day is a great day for a great day, no matter what. Thank you.